Hi, I'm JP Lam, and in this episode of Naruhodo, we're going to learn about a traditional Japanese festival that takes place every year at the beginning of March, Hinamatsuri, otherwise known as Girls' Day. Now, many of us have probably heard of Girls' Day, but might not know its origins, some of the common traditions, or the significance behind them. So today, I've come back here to the Japanese Cultural Center of Hawaii to find out more. Let's go inside. Carol, thank you so much for meeting with us today. Thank you very much for having me on the show and look forward to this conversation. So for the viewers at home who might not be familiar with Hina Matsuri, what is it and why is it celebrated in Japan? Hina Matsuri, or Dolls, day, Dolls Festival, Girls Festival, is commemorated each year on the third day of the third month in Japan. And it's a day where families customarily bring out their special Japanese dolls and it's a day to pray for the health and happiness of, your, of their daughters. And what's the history behind Hina Matsuri? Hina Matsuri has its roots in the Edo period, but the tradition goes way back to the Heian period. And it's a time where the families display their Japanese dolls. And are there any particular foods eaten for Hina Matsuri? And if so, what's the significance behind them? There are many special foods that are eaten to celebrate Girls' Day. There's a special sweet sake that, is, that you actually offer the dolls. And there is a special Girls' Day uh, arare, and there's a very special mochi, hichi mochi, which is tricolor. The white symbolizes purity. There's a pink or red that symbolizes energy or happiness, and then green, which symbolizes fertility. And of course, all throughout February and up to the beginning of March in Japan, anywhere you go, the department stores, the hotel lobbies, and of course in homes, people have the Hina Ningyo, or Girls' Day dolls. What's the significance behind those? The Girls' Day dolls are very, very special. It was believed that the dolls possess special power to contain evil spirits. So the tradition was, you, you float your doll, your straw doll or paper doll, onto the river or out to the ocean, and your daughter's bad luck, bad fortune would go out to sea as well. Well, Carol, thank you so much for meeting with us and teaching us about Hinamatsuri. You're welcome. Nice to visit me with you. Well, thanks so much for watching this episode of Naruhodo. I hope you learned something new about Hinamatsuri. Until next time, I'm JP Lamb.